Hey you guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Motors and Blowers. Good morning. I just came back from my mother's house after visiting her for only a couple of hours. The reason why it's only a couple of hours is because yesterday my friend Mike, who's a neighbor of mine and a friend of mine who we've uh, done some trading and he's brought me some old tractors and uh, lawn mowers and, and stuff here and there and power washers, whatever. Anyway, um, he was looking on the next door app which I used to have, but I never had much success with it. So I got rid of it. Anyway, he showed me a listing of the Nextdoor app and it looks to be a pretty new and good condition John Deere Zero Turn, okay? Uh, here's the listing. Anyway, because I no longer have Nextdoor, nor do I even remember how to log on, whatever, I told my friend Mike, go and ask him what his address is and if it's still available and when I can come and pick it up. So he's like, well, the listing's like four days old, so I'm sure it's gone, you know? Uh, anyway, the reason why the guy's giving it away for free, 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 is because the engine's blown. But it looks like it's in his garage, which means what? That he was riding it one day and the engine blew. Otherwise, how do you know the engine's blown, right? Uh, and he was able to roll it back into his garage. My concern is because it's a zero turn, it's probably hydrostatic transmission, two pumps, left and right rear wheels. And if it has lugs on those wheels, there's no keyways. So if it's locked up and the engine's blown, how am I even gonna roll it? Does it roll, does it move, does it budge? Can I even push it or are the wheels locked? That thing's gotta be 500 to 800 pounds, you know what I mean? So. How am I even gonna get it out of his garage and winch it up to my truck? So I wanna know, I texted him, does it roll? Can you disengage the transmission? What's the story with that? Otherwise, what am I gonna have to bring? I'm gonna have to bring like a jack so I can take the wheels off and try to find the keyway to take the, keyways, uh, the keys out of the keyway so that it'll roll on the axle. But if it has lugs, you're pretty much screwed, right? Either way, I should bring a jack anyway to jack it up and at least try to find the pump disengagement so that the wheels will at least spin and so I can roll it and it for it be able to winch be winched up the ramps of my truck. So that's my uh, dilemma. I don't know what to bring. Should I bring a whole bunch of tools? Should I bring, you know, how am I going to get it in the truck if the wheels don't spin? But if the wheels spin, no problem at all. So I'm going to go change into some yucky clothes because I have a feeling that I'm going to be underneath crawling on his garage floor in the dirt, whatever, but uh, it ought to be pretty um, interesting. Now, you're probably asking, hey, Henry, what are you going to do with a zero turn without an engine? Well, I actually have a V-twin Briggs engine that's just sitting in my shed for waiting, waiting for an application such as this. So uh, I don't know if the guy wants me to record or will allow me to record, but I'll try my best. You know, at least I'll try to get a tripod to loading it into, into Sketchy, but uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, he texted back and he says that he was able to disengage the transmission. Turn right onto Lowell Avenue. So I didn't even have to change into some dirty clothes, didn't have to bring a jack, didn't have to bring anything. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> and hopefully just easily go past the stop the sign. Truck. Then at the Open next one, ramps, turn right. Winch it up and that'll be it. <laughs> I hope. This would be a score if I pick it up because those John Deere zero turns are pretty nice. Just need to find the time to put an engine in it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, actually, that's I common. Right, actually, here, here's where it blew. Oh, is I, that right? You know what happened? I had my son started to on my ball, ball my lawn. Yeah. But it was burning a little oil in that. Oh, I always well, checked it. I always had carried around an oil thing, and I always put it in there. Yeah. He was doing it. I forgot about it. I went out and did the leaves with it about an hour, hour and a half riding around a lot. Yeah. Didn't even think in that pocket. Bang! <laughs> you heard a bang? Yeah. And then everything stopped. Did you actually well, the motor see... stopped? You couldn't. You can't. Pull right. It. Did you actually see oil dripping down? Oh, oil? absolutely. Oh, so there's a hole somewhere. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, let's. Well, let... there, there's the hole. Oh, how, <laughs> how long ago was this? When I did leaves, maybe Octoberish, maybe. Okay. You know, I'm thinking October. Yeah. I, this is decent. You've had this maybe eight years. No. More than ten years. Probably, probably about 12-ish. I, I got it 
I've had this house about 15-ish years. Gotcha. And I didn't get it right away. So it's somewhere between 2005. 10 and 14. Okay. It, somewhere around there. And probably back then you paid maybe 1500 No. 1800 Not these things. No. 2500 Yeah, I got it in Lowe's and I paid... Well, they owed me. Well, that's another story. I, got, <laughs> I think I ended up getting it for like twenty three ninety nine. Do you know what they but are it now? Was twenty. I know. It's, I got. I want to buy another one, but I'm not going to buy this one. It's insane how much it is now. It's, it's like five grand now. It's almost doubled in price. They for they for sure did. So I'm, I I'm going to have to. I I like doing it. Yeah. Right? But I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to probably buy the uh, the tractor. With a catcher on the back, so they don't have to rake any leaves or anything else in that. But well, actually, people who have tractors with baggers in the back end up getting these, the zero turn. You're going from this to a tra And listen, tractors these days are like 2500 three grand yeah, now. They used to be like seventeen. Yeah. For the cheapest one, you know? I'm going to wait for them to go on sale and they throw in the bagger, whatever. Man, they never throw in a bagger. Oh, and the, the bagger itself is four ninety nine. Yeah, I know, but they used to. I've seen it. I see. But it might, again, this is a different time than that. Well, I, you better get cracking because spring is around the corner. No, we're doing something. But I don't know if you want this. It's a. Uh, I don't know if you do that kind of work. Or you just buy it. Sure, you that's a that uh, yeah, fuel solenoid for the carburetor. Yeah. And a brand new fuel pump. I mean, if you don't need it, if you're going to throw it away, I'll take it. But I well, mean, you know. Well, it comes with this. I mean, maybe the next <laughs> one will be the same one, but I'll worry about Look that when that. I get it. Look at that. This is a John Deere 18.5 single cylinder. So it's not an electric PTO. I don't have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so you have to engage a lever for the blades to spin. No. You don't just pull a button and it goes. The button. Oh, that's unusual. Because usually electric PTOs, which this is, right? Okay means that you need a, at least a V-twin cylinder this engine. Is, this is a V. Oh, is that right? Because it doesn't... It's a definitely V. I don't think so. This is a single no, it's cylinder. A I know it's a V. That's <laughs> how they list it, V. This is one cylinder, guaranteed. Well, they call it a V, I'm telling you. It, I have the book on it. I should get you the book. See, if it was a V-twin, right, yeah. the cylinder would be here and here. This is the air cleaner. Okay. This is a single cylinder, and it's 18.5. If it was a I V, like oh, I know, it's but it's not a twin cylinder. It's one cylinder in here. If it was a twin cylinder, it would be more than 20 horsepower. Okay. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. I find that really hard to believe that this is a single cylinder and with an electric PTO because usually you need at least 20 horsepower to run an electric PTO because of the magnet, that uh, magnetic Magic. clutch that okay. grabs the belt and stuff. Very unusual. I'm, I'm very stunned by it, actually. Okay. But it, it looks like you kept it in pretty decent condition, though. Well, in the last several years, I, I used to keep it inside. Mm -hmm. But then the last couple, because this kept, you know, my wife, she, my wife was a teacher and she loaded up here. But anyway. Oh, this Bill, you got, like this. you got plenty of room. You should see my garage. I can't even walk. This used to be empty. But still, you have plenty of room. I know you can't get your car in here, but... <laughs> Who puts their cars in their garage nowadays? I mean, I'd like to, but it's impossible. <laughs> All right, so you say that you disengaged the transmission. Can yeah, you the, Can you show me how? There's two rods underneath. I'm not going to get that on my knees. Okay. Inside. Okay, great. I see. So I can figure it out. Uh, I have a zero turn also, yeah. and... I could never get to them. I mean, they're deep, deep, deep in the center so right on the back, bottom. You pull them out. That's convenient. Yeah. Mine is, if your engine's blown, you can't move that thing because it's like 800 pounds. You can't move it at all. But I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that you can move this. That's great. Okay. Um, that's great. Listen, I, if it's okay, I'm going to set up a tripod right out here just to film me putting it up and stuff. And uh, if, if you're cool with it, you don't have to do anything. I've got it all taken care of. And you can watch if you want. <laughs> it's a no, no. I got everything, buddy. Okay. Yeah, you want to see what I got over here? Anyway, um, oh, I see. It was fine when he was using it. I gotcha. Yeah, I mean, oil is pretty important. It's really unusual for it to burn so much oil that you got to check it so often. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was burning oil. But no, I didn't have to check it that often. But uh, you know, I probably didn't look at it for a month. I see. And then I used it for a long. You know, I had it running for about maybe. Like I said, about an hour and a half doing the leaf. I, I used to chop up the leaves. Yeah, you know, um, that's all I do too. I hardly bag. I just mulch. Yeah, that's what I do. And then, actually, I put it in a, in a garbage can. I got a mulch pile in the back. And I see. And I would run over the mulch pile like a million oh, times. Oh, I keep doing it. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Very fine. But the thing is, well, sometimes you do it too much, right? And you're almost like overloading the. Uh, you're almost like overloading the 
the grass with mulch. And so oh, that, I, don't, I don't leave it there. I rake it up. Oh, you the, do, and you well, pick it up. See, back I don't and forth, it up. back and forth, and then I rake it into a garbage can. I put it in a pile. I don't even put it. I just, I just roll yeah. it until it goes away. <laughs> well, this, this is called the Maplewood section. This area, we yeah. get a ton of leaves. I, well, I got my share of leaves too. Yeah, something like that. You couldn't leave on the, uh, on the lawn. No. I see. I mean, listen, uh, I know a lot about tractors and I would steer you away from getting any MTD products. Okay. MTD makes Cub Cadet. I'm looking for yard machines. John Deere. But you told me before you didn't even want a John Deere anymore. Not a zero turn. Yes, that's right. But th listen, you're gonna miss the because zero the turn. Because the bag is on there. Look, you see the size of my gate? If you put a bag around here, it comes out to the side like yes, this. Yes, it's, it's hard like, to get in. I'll, I'll never get in there. But the other one is not, Made that All right. Well, you can't get anything over 42 inches. And I that's, know that. That's, that's about the a, same right. one as my my thing. That's why I got a 42 inch here. <laughs> you're, you're a smart man. <laughs> but they make them like I mean, you could find 46s and stuff. Yeah, oh, 54s. No, I don't, like I said, I don't. Listen, I did a lot when I was doing it with this thing. I do it in like 20 minutes. Bro, bro. Right. Now, theoretically, this should just go up without oh, even I love touching. It. That you have a kill me not you and, and then you, and then you'll kill me no 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 i'll be dead <laughs> <laughs> oh good as long as i'm not dead <laughs> okay so it's gripping onto this a little i'll, I'll stand on See, I have it on a rope. Yeah, so now the rope is too. You're going to take thing, the rope off. Yes. You want to just push it up you and I? Just stand there and make sure that doesn't hit your wife's car. That's it. But I'm going to let it out again. Oh, if it falls down, I'm going, I'm running. <laughs> I'm just going to let it out again. It should stay. I'm just going to go up there and uh, it. loosen the, yeah. I'm just loosen where it's caught. Like it rolled the whole hook into the reel, which is not good. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Problem. Want to push it up? If you can. There we go. Yeah, you got your thing here. It's a piece of cake. What? You need more? No, it's on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm out. Yeah, it'll be fun to take this uh, down later. <clears throat> but that, that's what life is all about. New adventures. <laughs> Absolutely. So you retired now? Yeah, for about okay, seven and a half years. Right. So you actually me too. I'm, I've been retired like five years now. Okay. And I think it's great. Uh, and listen, this is like the best job, quote unquote job that I've ever had, because I do it at my leisure. You know? Yeah. I'll I'll work when I want to work. I'll do what I want to do whenever I want it. You know. And at the same time, I'm home. I have a dog at home, so I take care of the dog. And I watch the work, so it's all good. I had a pretty good career, uh, enough to sustain my livelihood, even though, you know, I'm not going out buying Gucci bags every day or anything, but, you know. Why would you buy them anyway? They're overpriced. It's, ridic it's ridiculous why people do. But uh, they do. And um, I don't, and that way you save money uh, for when you really need it, such as retirement, right? Correct. Uh, people say that you need about about two million dollars for your family, okay, if you're pretty comfortable. Depending on where you're living. Depending on where you live. Long Island, you probably will need to you see how that works. Yeah, I like it. It's cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, I didn't want. I was when I got this truck. I wanted a longer bed. But, but nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Bill. Good uh, luck to you. Thank you so you, much. Hope you make out. I, I I just noticed that the deck is all rotted. I didn't even know. You saw that? Here, check Wait. it out. <clears throat> I can do some welding. I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see Look. that. That's, <laughs> that's, oh, that must have been covered with leaves. I didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not terrible. It's not good, but it's not terrible. <laughs> it's got some over there, too, you know? I didn't even notice Yeah, that. it's because the leaves, they cover it up, whatever. But you know what? I, I mean, 
you trust me, I've seen you know, way worse that I've repaired. You take know, take a ride over to uh, Huntington Scrap right now. They probably get probably. forty bucks for it or whatever. Well, you know, I I try to save the deck. I'm gonna sheet metal something and okay. cover it. You know, and okay. then repaint it again. I mean. What's the fun of just putting another engine on? You got to fix the whole thing. No, are you going to buy one or you have one? An engine? No, that's and that's the thing about my channel is that uh, everything has to be free. Okay. That's the niche of it. You know okay. what I mean? That it has to be so free. How are you going to get an engine? Anybody can go buy one. I know. Well, I priced <laughs> them out, and that's eight hundred to a thousand. Yeah. For a new engine. And I said no. I'll, I'll just buy a new uh, the one I want with the bagger. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to put a thousand dollars into this. Uh, even a used V twin engine, probably about four. You got it, about three, four hundred dollars yeah. easily. And you know, you don't even know if it works. You know, the, you just take the guy for his word. Oh, yeah, it runs. There's nothing else wrong with it, right? It mows and everything when you engage the PTO, it just the, the blades move and you know, mow and everything. I can tell you, my son has some trouble, but that's him. <laughs> he used to slip out of the gear, uh -huh. the, the uh, tranny, yeah, uh -huh. and he has to he used to put push the rod back in. The one side. I, oh, really? I think it was the right side. It never happened to you. Never happened to me. <laughs> I, I had no idea. Gotcha. So. All right. Sounds good, man. That was it. It was running. Like I told you, right? You can see the oil thing. Running Boom. The you see it? <laughs> right, right here, this section. That's right. the blow right there. Yep. All and right. I said, and I said, right on my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, man. Thanks a lot, Bill. Nice you meeting too. you. Nice meeting you. Wish Henry. me luck. Good luck to you. <laughs> I'll buy you a beer if I run into you. Yeah, that's what I said. That was my price. If, if I see you out there somewhere and you don't duck me. You got it. How about that, huh? So how about it, guys? It all worked out. And uh, as you saw, it rolled just fine. I mean, it wasn't like super easy to roll, but... Uh, <laughs> and Bill really wasn't helping me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I told him you don't need to help me, but if yeah, I was, I mean, you know, there was some resistance, whatever, but uh, it was pretty cool, man. Anyway, I'm on my way home now. Hopefully, I'll be able to unload it. So how about it, guys? I thought it was gonna be a pain in the ass to get that up there, but luckily for me, Bill knew how to disengage the hydraulic pumps, and it freely rolls. Now, of course, getting it off is always an unknown, whether you might have an accident or not, because as you recall, when I was pulling it up, that hung up on the ramps quite a bit from the deck. Well, we'll see what happens. pulled it out until I got the rope to be, you know, holding on to the winch. All right, so there we go. A little while ago, I didn't have anything in the uh, driveway. Now, just from a buddy of mine spotting this on next door, we have a John Deere, my first John Deere zero turn that I got for free. This is the Z225. I think that's why Bill was confused. Maybe he, met, he thought Z meant V. And that's why he thought that this was a V-twin. As you can clearly see, this is a single cylinder Briggs 18.5 engine. 
Not saying that that's a bad engine, but you do have to put Earl in it. <laughs> Looks like a very straightforward engine swap. As you can see, there's plenty of room around it to move around. All it seems to have is so uh, the wire connecting harness to ground. And uh, you got the fuel pump delivery, which I hate. But uh, I actually have a Briggs V-Twin. Uh, 22, 23, something like that, I'm not sure. But I got it from Nick Gaiardi. It's been sitting in my shed for quite a while. I know it runs too, because th that was taken off of the John Deere L100 or L200 that he had too. And I was running. I saw him use it. So I know that engine runs. Whether both cylinders run or not, I'm not 100% sure. But here's the gas tank. There's leaves everywhere. As you can see, he did say that he mulched. He didn't bag, he just mulched. So he just ran it over and ran it over and ran it over. And he didn't even realize that the deck was rusty because of all the uh, grass and, and uh, dry leaves on there that he never cleaned, obviously, or blew out. Moisture just gets trapped underneath the leaves and it um, basically disintegrates the deck. I mean, this is bad, but it's not terrible because there's no huge gaping holes where you actually need sheet metal. I could actually build beads over the holes and just weld it. You know, I like welding, especially with a stick welder. It makes doing something like this easy. Uh, I mean, I might need some sheet metal. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, if you take a look at the front caster wheels, excellent condition. It looks like the, the frame. It's in excellent condition. It's dirty, but it look, you don't see any rust or anything. It's just the deck is, is probably pretty rotted under there. I'm going to blow, blow it out in, in a minute and so we can check it out. But it's got uh, front um, anti-scalp wheels. As you can see here, look. Not bad at all. We're going to be able to use this deck. If I have to weld some beads over the rotted areas or put some sheet metal over it, I'll do it. Look, I've got sheet metal. <laughs> Seat's a little cracked, but it's not horrible. And apparently the pumps work just fine, he says, because the only thing wrong with it, like I said, is the engine blue. That's it. That's it. Ooh, it's got a battery too. Fantastic. Solenoid, fuse box, seat safety switch over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a battery tester to that and see how good that battery is. I doubt it, but uh, I doubt it'll be good, but we'll find out. And over here, as you can see the controls, you can put your crap in here, you can put your drink in there. You've got the electric PTO. Now look, I'm, I'm really surprised, and I'm sure you guys are a little too. I've never seen a single cylinder engine power electric PTO. Because usually you need, well, I guess you do need 18 at least, and that's 18.5. But I mean, this engine's really trying hard, you know what I mean? To, to maintain the magnetic, the electricity, to uh, keep that magnet engaged when you engage your PTO on the electronic clutch. So this engine was, try, was working hard to keep the blades moving. As you can see here... There's an hour meter that's not illuminated. Let's turn it on. Ooh, look at that. Is that 802 hours or 208 hours? <laughs> okay, so it's, wow, because the eight of the decimal is on the other side. So it's only 208 hours. That's not used much at all. I mean, given the guy said he used it since 14 years using it for 14 years, and that's a 230 CCA from Interstate. I, I'd probably be able to put a charger to that and get that going. So this is a easy track. That's interesting. It looks just like a Toro, doesn't it? It looks just like a Toro. Yeah, that looks just like a Toro. Yeah, right. Nothing. Blow it out.
Well, I don't know if that's any better, but uh, you can see it a little better. Wow, look at that gaping hole down there. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, this deck is going to be pretty trashed. I think uh, we're going to obviously take it off later on. But uh, I can't start on this project for, I don't know, for some time. I'm still working on my desert UTV military tractor project. But I mean, look, I'll at least go and test the battery and see how much uh, juice it's holding, if any. I don't know, should we, should we turn the key and see? Oh, you probably have to sit on it. Sit on it, Ralph. For any of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, it is happy days. have to step on something there's nothing to step on right should I hold it this way huh. I don't know maybe it has to do with these things here So this has to be locked up like that. Okay, I've got one of my battery testers on here. Let's just put it on here to see how much we're working with. It's got nine volts right now. Zero percent healthy, zero percent charged. <laughs> Charge and retest. Print, sure. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So now we got a print out. Uh, of when we first tested it and like I said it's showing zero and zero so I need to put a battery tester to this uh, battery charger I'm sorry and uh, before I put this away we'll we'll do that and uh, hopefully it'll hold the charge so I've got my top done battery t uh, charger charging up now we'll come back tomorrow and see if it holds a charge uh, looks like it might because look it's already at 25 I think it might work and I'll keep it connected as I'm uh, Working on that. <sighs> so I got this lawn tractor cover that I wasn't using whipped it out, put it over here. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rain lately, so uh, at least overnight keeping it dry. <laughs> Lessen the damage of the rust as it is. But uh, how about it, fellas? Just getting a text from my buddy Mike, going over to get it. It was, it was uh, disengaged from the transmission, so it rolled freely. Got up, up on Sketchy, brought it home. Looks like once you charge the battery, if it holds a charge, looks like it could fire right up. Uh, obviously, the solenoid works and all that stuff, but, you know, we're going to need to put another engine on here. And I'll uh, stay tuned for that episode where I uh, do an engine swap on this. 
and uh, repurpose that engine and try to get the zero turn going. Maybe do a little bit of welding work on the deck and then try to figure out any other problems it might have. But I believe that the only thing wrong with this engine was that it was blown from a lack of oil. Admit it to me on camera by the owner, Bill. So thanks Mike and Bill for the tractor or the zero turn John Deere. Uh, I'm pretty excited because I've never had a zero turn John Deere before. This will be my second zero turn in my possession. And uh, if this runs right and fixes right, I might keep it for myself and sell uh, my uh, Toro 616Z. You never know. Hope you guys subscribed. If you want to stay tuned for this, hit that notification bell so that when you do get notifications that Henry from Mowers and Blowers has a new video out, you look at the thumbnail, and if it's not this, you don't have to watch it. But it's probably on my six-wheeler, which is a very, very interesting uh, series of videos. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.